Hello, today we'll be showing you how to make high quality CSS icons for Melee. Um, it's actually super easy, so I'll just show you how to do that. So first you want to click the link in the description, it should send you here, and then you want to hit open image, and then you want to find um, the image that I put in the description, the download for it. I uh, just gotta find it. Okay, once you've found it, um, you can just zoom in, and here you are. So this is the editor thing, and now the first thing you want to do, well, first you want to download both images that I left in the description, this one and the other one. And first you want to add the image of the character you want to make the CSS icon for. So um, I'm just doing an example. So I just found some transparent image of Sonic on Google. So I'm just gonna use this. Um, so you scale it down and put it in the frame. So once it's where you want it to be, here I'll put it right there. Next thing you want to do is you want to hit this draw button. The quality might decrease, but it's fine. Then you want to hit the eraser tool and set the size to one pixel. And then you want to erase here. So I want to erase this, and then this, that way he's actually in the frame. Okay, good. Um, make sure you get these parts at the corner correct. Um, you gotta get this part. And there you go. So, you can make it look better, this doesn't actually look very accurate. But yeah, just gotta erase it that way it's actually in the frame. But yeah, you gotta include like more of the actual body to make it actually look good. But I'm just doing an example, so I don't really care. Okay, so once you've erased it, you wanna hit add element slash image and then you want to add media. So um then you wanna find the second image that I um I put. So it it's this and yeah so you wanna so I need to find an S for Sonic so S is right here and I just gotta erase what's around it so just erase all the letters around it you don't have to erase every letter except for the one you want but just all the ones that are around it that way you can properly put it in the thing okay now we have the O and then you wanna do it I just repeat it for all the other letters. So, import it again. And then I want to find uh, N, which is right here. And just trace everything around it and just keep doing this until all your letters are where you want them to be. Okay, I have gotten all the letters in. However, there is a problem. I do not want my I to be right here. So if I try to click on it and then move it, it works. But sometimes when you do it and you try to click it, wait, oh my god, okay. Sometimes other letters will be on top of it, so you won't be able to click it. So if you want to edit a letter or will move where you want it to be, um, drag it, the layers up here, and just drag it to the top. That way it doesn't get like interrupted by anything. And then I'll do that with the C. Let's make it a bit closer. And there we go. We have fixed this. Um, yeah, that's how you create a high quality CSS icon. And now we will be importing it into Melee. Okay, here I am in Max Tool, and I'm going to be adding it to the menu. So if you don't know how to do this, you hit um, Menus, then you hit CSS Editor, and this will bring you here. So um, what you want to do is um, you want to uh, click. Well, it doesn't really matter, but just hit the plus icon, and a new icon should appear, and you just want to put it wherever you want, I don't really care, 
You could also replace icons if you just want to replace someone else's. You could just click on one and hit replace icon. Um, but I'm just going to make a separate one. So here it is, and then I'll just hit. Um, so you can pick which character. I'll put it on. I'll put it on Marth, I guess. And I'll hit replace icon. Go to downloads. It's right here. So as you can see, here it is. It fits. Um, you could probably use a better image. Don't use a Google image. Those never really work. But yeah, now we will be putting it. We will be showing it off in game. Okay, here I am in Melee, and as you can see right here, here it is. And I saw Marth, and I can change the alts and stuff. Now just to show it off, that make sure it doesn't crash. We'll go into the game, and as you can see, Marth, hello. Um, I, I never, uh, yeah, I never actually, like, use this in tournament thing, the tournament mode because in tournament mode it shows the CSS icon I don't know if you actually replacing one icon can actually change in the tournament mode because when you select a character in the tournament mode it uses the CSS icons but um yeah this is basically it and yeah that's the uh tutorial uh bye